<laughs> so is this basically your last practice of the year, though? Yeah. Um, you know, besides our normal walkthrough on Friday, I mean, this is just like a normal Thursday right now, and tomorrow will be a Friday. How, where do you feel like you guys are in terms of readiness for the game? Well, I think we're really ready. Um, I, th I think our guys are in the right mindset. I think they've done a great job this week of, of taking care of themselves and, and having fun, but understanding the football aspect too. Um, I had no uh, first time I've ever probably ever remember ever not having one curfew issue uh, at all. So uh, it's great to see the guys the guys doing well. I think they're re-energized after the time off, and they kind of feel like a new team. They kind of spirit very similar to how they started the year. Um, talking to Kennedy Pola this morning, we're asking him just about prep and how it's gone the last couple of weeks. It seems like have you given assistants a little bit more responsibility in terms of running practice, and calling plays, or whatever? Well, not exactly, but um, because of the time, I've been able to spend a lot more time in all three phases of the game. You know, the game plan's been done for a long time now, so uh, th those guys have always uh, headed by Kennedy critical in, in helping things in different areas and um, you know we delegate a lot throughout the week. You uh, consider a week or so ago that there would be no change in the offensive coordinator. Um, is there any chance that Kennedy or T. Martin or some of those guys would have more of a role in play calling? Yeah there could be. I mean it, um, like I've, I've said we'll look at all that stuff afterwards. Um, the question when it was asked what I would believe question meant was already is Kennedy Pola not going right. to be here we change that and no we're not but we'll look at everything after the season just like we always do regardless of whether we're 12 and 0 or 0 and 12. Um, Game management will be pretty much the same as we've seen all year in terms of you know sideline and mm -hmm. all the play calling okay um what about this is kind of winding down with your dad mm -hmm. have you thought about that at all or you know what it's going to be like not having him around? I, I really haven't. Um, you know, it's not like we've been together for 15 years or something like that, you know. Um, so uh, I've done this before without him. He's done this before without me. So um, I really haven't thought thought very much about it because we've known it was going to happen for a while. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what's Curtis McNeil's status? Uh, hopefully he'll play. Um, he, didn't, he didn't do anything today. Um, Hopefully him and Marquise will play. Marquise also is... Uh, yeah, he did, something happened early in practice and um, did not return. So we have to keep checking him out. Are you optimistic that he's going to be able to? I'm hopeful. <laughs> That's for sure. The Blitnikoff award winner. Um, you know, but we know other guys will step up if he can't play. Who would uh, be first up into that role if he does? Nelson. You know, Nelson and, and Robert uh, would start. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyone, uh, any word on grades in terms of eligibility? No, so, I don't. I don't have final university posted grades. So at this point, everyone is eligible to play. I don't have the final grades, so nobody's ineligible. So, um, until you get the final ones posted through the university system, um, nothing's finalized. Would you anticipate you'd have that by Monday? I would assume so, but like I said, I, I, I don't control it. Like sometimes the system takes longer. <laughs> Does that mean Monday they would tell you, like, before kickoff somebody else I, I don't know. Whenever they post them, they'll tell me. It really goes through our compliance department. Really. Did, uh, did you see what happened to Marquise? Why he... Yeah. Um, you know, obviously I'm not going to get into specifics of it, but um, it was serious enough that he wasn't able to return. Uh, do you think the college football's changed in the last couple of years with the spread and wins and everybody seems to be looking at it now? I, I think it's totally changed. Um, I think you see defenses, defensive coordinators having to have different plans from week to week, especially in our conference. I, I can't imagine there's a more difficult conference than ours. Because you go from pro style to spread to running quarterbacks to four wides, um, there's all kinds of stuff. So um, I think it's changed. I think you see people have evolved to playing field boundary players because of the speed of the game on defense. Uh, and that's come into our league a lot this year. And, uh, you can see where that's affected because the guys are already set up regardless of formations. 